Hello everyone, Asian Cycling here. We have a new bike day today. I'm gonna introduce you to my new bike, the Specialized Fuse Expert 2022 version. Uh, when I bought this, this bike actually wasn't even on the uh, website. It wasn't even announced yet. Now that it's up on the website, I can actually post the video. So let's go. Alrighty, let's just start by looking around at this bike uh, itself. The frame is a matte black. This is a hardtail, so there's no suspension in the back, but there is a suspension in the front. This is 130 mils in the front, but I'll explain all the components and all that after this. Jank cassette in the back, and then it's a one by up front. It does have a dropper post. That was one of the reasonings to getting this bike, actually. All cables are internally routed. Um, one additional interesting actually about this bike was how small this triangle is right here. I never ever had the problem of having to put on uh, side bottle cages because I can't pull it out. But as you can see, you know, this barely fits one bottle and another bottle. So I had to get the side pulling ones because I guess I'm too short. That's it. Let's, let's start going into the specifics and components and the names of this bike. Alrighty, so let's get into the actual details of this bike. I'm just reading these off the website by the way, so you can check it out, but you can look at it better in this video. So the frame is all aluminum. It's their specialized M4 premium aluminum. Uh, who knows what's premium about it, but yes, it is. Uh, they both have through axles on the front and back with, as I mentioned, uh, the, the cable is all internally routed in this frame. I'm total noob about mountain bikes, so I'm not sure whether this is like a really good fork or not, but I asked my friends and they said it's a pretty good one, so we're going with it. <laughs> uh, this fork is a Fox Float 34 Rhythm. It has 130, 130 millimeters of travel. Um, and then of course there's this side where you can adjust the, the air pressure inside and then uh, the locking mechanism. Going into the, the cockpit, uh, the stem is a stout 3D forged alloy, whatever that means, and it's 31.8 millimeters in distance. Uh, the handlebar is also a stout riser, and it has 750 millimeters uh, in the width, and yeah. Now let's go on to the brakes. Uh, they're both disc brakes, of course, but they are four-piston hydraulic brakes, so they do stop a lot better than uh, normal two-piston uh, two ones but they are the SRAM G2 four piston uh, brakes. Now the saddle is the specialized bridge comp. So those who ride road bikes and know about the power saddle, it's pretty much the same exact thing. It's just, uh, it, this has a little bit more cushion, so it is a little bit softer to sit on. I personally actually kind of like this one. There is a dropper post, very important. Uh, the dropper post is a Trans X dropper. I don't know if that's a good brand or not, but um, since I'm a medium, see, okay, so one thing is I'm a medium, the size is a medium, but the seat post like size on their website goes in the S, S1, 2, 3, 4, 5s. So I'm assuming I'm a three or a four, so it's either 150 millimeters of travel or 170. Uh, I'm honestly not sure. Now let's move on to the drivetrain. Uh, um, everything is SRAM by the way, but gigantic cassette in the back. Uh, this cassette is a SRAM XG 1275 12 speed. Uh, the range is 1052. Gigantic for me in the back, which is awesome, but it is a one by, so that is how it is. The, the front is SRAM X1 Alloy Eagle, uh, and it is 32 teeth. Um, bottom bracket is a SRAM dub, dub for dubstep, um, and it is a threaded bottom bracket. And the rear derailleur is a SRAM GX Eagle 12 speed. Uh, yeah, it looks fancy, I don't know. <laughs> now moving on to the wheels. Uh, these are tubeless ready and I did set it, uh, I did have them set it up uh, tubeless. The wheels are 29s. Um, and the front and rear hubs are whatever it is on the website that's special, I guess. Uh, I do like these tires through the Eliminator Grid Trail uh, tires. Super wide, like look at that. I've never ridden anything this wide. <laughs> it's kind of awesome. It is a 27.5 uh, 2.6 inch tire. So yeah. But yeah, I think that's that's about it for the actual bike. Um, 
if you do have any questions then just like put it in the comments and I'll try to answer it the best I can so yeah that was just a really quick bike intro I'm gonna go ride trails now so I will see you in the next video all right bye